Hello everybody and welcome to this, the first in a series of videos that will help you complete the Level 2 Essential Skills Wales ICT qualification. Now, this qualification is necessary for the completion of the Welsh BAC, so it's going to be important to a lot of you who are going to be using this as an A-level to get into your choice of university. So it is important that we get this work done, and we need to get it done to a high standard. Now, the reason that we've created this series of videos for you to follow is so that you can do this in your own time. You will have Welsh back lessons next year, but these videos should aid you in the process of completing the project, and you should be able to do it independently using these. Obviously, the ICT teachers and other teachers in the school will be able to help you through this. However, you should be able to follow these instructions in the videos to complete the work. There's also, if I go into my folders here, if I go to the computer and pupil shared area, there's actually a folder which has been set up here. If I go to L, that's it, Level 2 Essential Skills Wales ICT folders. Now there's a lot of folders that have been on the shared area previously for this particular project. However, this is the folder that you should refer to from now on. So if I double click on this folder, inside this folder here we've got a series of subfolders and I've got a presentation folder because there will actually be a presentation that you need to make and various other documents in there which we'll go over later. If I go back, we've also got a spreadsheet folder which there will also be a series of documents in as well. Now these two particular documents or these particular two documents that you are going to create actually form part of activity one so what I'm going to do and this is how you should set up your own folder structures as well so it would be a good idea to do this in this way at the start is if I make a new folder I'm going to call it activity one terrible bit of type in there okay so there's activity one and what I'm going to do now is leave the checklist where it is. I'm going to explain that in a moment. And I'm going to drag those folders in that file into Activity 1. So, we've also got another activity which you're going to do later on, which is Activity 2. So I'm going to create Activity 2. And inside that folder, so if I double click on there, I know most of you know how to do this, but it's just good to go over it, just as a good work in practice. New folder database exciting and a new folder again and we're going to call this one we'll call this brochure because we're going to be making a brochure as well so we know now that any work you need to save for activity 2 goes in that folder then if you need to save work for your brochure it goes in that folder anything for your database in there and so on and this is really good to be organized in this way because last year what was happening was people were saving work onto the actual their own area um, but not saving it appropriately or saving it into the correct area so they couldn't find it which meant that they had to redo the work all over again which is really annoying so the other thing is as well what I would advise against, I would advise against is saving work directly onto your memory stick and just transferring it back and home uh, back and forth from home because it's good for us to have your work in school because if it does somehow become deleted we know that it's backed up centrally by steps so we can get that back for you uh, at any time okay so good folder structure is a good start to the project and that's what you should do maybe first of all just to get everything in order so you can go back through this video pause and rewind have a look at what you need to do the next thing that we've got here is a checklist which I've set up for ever everyone there will be it actually comes as a portfolio a PDF portfolio so there's multiple files inside this particular portfolio so if I double click on that to open it and what you'll see here now is currently, when it eventually loads up, two checklists for two of the tasks. So as you can see here, I've got a presentation checklist and a spreadsheet checklist. Now it's important that you go through these particular checklists as you complete each piece of work. And there's a bit of information on the back of each of these to show you. So here it says when you've completed a task in this section ensure that you check the box so that you know where you currently are remember if there are any boxes left unchecked you have not completed this section 
and if you've not completed any parts of the work in any section you will not be entered so it's important that you keep a track of what you're doing um, every time you complete a task and it's the same for this one over here okay and you can check those the best way to do this would be if I close this down right click and copy on the portfolio and then paste it into your own area and create an essential skills folder with that folder structure so to go back onto the portfolio then these are actually interactive checklists and what you can do see here if I just hover over it you can't really see a great deal of what the checklist is if I click on there he'll say to me this will pop up to show me what the file looks like and I can then open the file okay so obviously I've got my name in here at the moment but you could put your name in there I'll put John Smith classic and then what you can do is read a bit about what you actually need to do in this task okay the information is there and then as you go through say if you have added bullet points to your draft presentation you just click the box you can say you've made a table a graph navigation buttons and what you do then is you simply go up and save and it saves it into the portfolio so if I press save close it down just up here and then I can go back and I can open the spreadsheet one if I want to for example so open the file and here I have my checklist for the spreadsheet it tells me a bit about the task um, I can tick away then as I complete the task it's good for you to keep a record of what you've done as well okay so that's how we use the the checklists in the portfolio but make sure you copy yours or you copy one from the shared area and place it into your area otherwise you're going to be saving on top of somebody else's and it's going to become a nightmare so the last thing I want to show you now is I can close all this down close 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 I don't want to save it I go into the folder here and I go into activity one because this is the brief the assignment brief that we are all going to be following so if I just open that up okay so activity one then this is what you need to be doing so the school has recently had the sixth form common room re uh, decorated. Mr. Lloyd, the head of sixth form, has consulted with the year council and they have agreed that as much as £2,000 could be made available for furnishing the common room. You've been given the task of costing the furniture and presenting your pros uh, proposal to Mr. Lloyd and the year council. Okay. Um, there are a few points that uh, the year council would like you to consider and basically explains how it needs to work. And what we're going to be doing is creating a spreadsheet to put all of these prices that we find and information about the particular pieces of furniture and we're going to work out basically a cost in and find out how much it will cost to refurnish the common room so I'm going to be showing you some examples of a similar example that I've done recently um, in, the, in the next couple of videos but the first thing we need to do is actually perform some research so we need to conduct research to find out prices of the particular furniture items and then we need to put them into a search log and that's what I'll be showing you in the next video so I look forward to that so a quick summary then for the end of the video is first of all you should set up your folder structures in the way that you've been shown in the video second of all you should save a copy of the checklist portfolio into your new ESW ICT folder that you've created you should also print out a copy of the activity one brief and put it in the folder that's been provided for you.